Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniela, your independent Scentsy consultant, and today I have my second haul from the new catalog season. So it is mid-March and I placed a second order. I also had a customer place an order, which is in this order. So I ended up just closing out a party. And um, yeah, so I got a bunch of bars and a few other things. So I'm gonna start by showing you what my customer got and then I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm not gonna open any of her things though, um, but I'll just let you know. So she got the Coconuts for Coconuts bar and French Lavender and Lemon Drizzle Cake. Ooh, that does not want to focus. And then she also picked up a three pack of 25 watt bulbs. And she got the Ocean Ombre Warmer, which is a really pretty blue and white color. It's very, very pretty. So um, that is my customer's order. And then I got a ton of bars. Um, I'll go through the other things that I got first. So got a pack of fluffy fleece dryer discs and I just threw these in because I needed to use up the rest of my credit um fluffy fleece is where is it hmm. black current cozy musk and heliotrope this is my laundry scent of choice however I have been using clothesline lately because of the dryer sheets so I also use that and I do actually really like it. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do, but I do. Um, I should tell you, too, what the scent notes are on the bars that my customer got. So, Coco Coconuts for Coconuts is Ocean Breeze Wild Coconut and Tiare Flower. I don't know what that is. Um, French Lavender is Herbal Wild Lavender. And then... Lemon drizzle cake is lilac sugar, vanilla icing drizzle, and lemon butter cake. Okay, and then I also got Fluffy Fleece Scentsy Fresh. I love this stuff. I spray it on my bed every night before I go to sleep just to make it smell nice and cozy. And then I got the Vanilla Waves Body Wash. So this is the like new packaging it's in a like normal container with like the little push push open top the old ones were like the ones that you would set upside down and then it had like a flip top um mine always had a hard time closing so i'm excited for the new packaging on this and it's a teensy bit more um fluid ounces the other one was like 7.7 .7 and this is eight however I think it's like went up a dollar I don't even know um I couldn't tell you next thing I got was three no one not two but three packs of cotton cleanups three of them um these are the new size I've never used cotton cleanups trying to figure out where to put them I've never used cotton cleanups before, but these are the new size that are smaller, and so they're supposed to be um, easier to fit into your mini warmers, but also still be able to use them in your full-size warmers. I have heard that um, they don't soak up as much as, well, obviously, as the bigger ones, but like that it's harder to get your, like, if you have four cubes in your warmer, harder to get four cubes out of them. Um, but I've also heard that if you, like, pull them a little bit, we pull the cotton apart a little bit it will soak up more so um I have never tried the cotton cleanups because I've always just used cotton balls which I think works fine however cotton balls are like three bucks now at Target um and I use like four every time so I guess it's still cheaper. This was six. These are six dollars. So you six dollars for twenty five. Um, I use like four, sometimes five, because I use one to like clean it out. So, and they're like two hundred in a pack. So you get like forty uses. 
um, for three dollars around two fifty three dollars this is six dollars and you get 25 uses so um but I also have seen people like let it dry and then like pull off the little cardboard part and use the other side so there's there's lots of options I just wanted to try them out and they were six bucks so um I actually got one of them free because I put them put it in as one of my credit things um yeah so I don't know I decided to try them out next up I got how many six packs did I get <laughs> let me count hold on two I think I got four six packs Right? Yeah, I got four six packs of wax. So there's 24 bars, which is a lot. But um, yeah, I don't know. They're they're the new bars, and I like to make sure I have some for my mom too. So um, yeah, and I go through wax really fast. Plus, I need to bring some to school, and so like I need to bring full bars to school, obviously, because I'll run out. Um, I'm not going to bring like a bar with just two cubes. Anyways, rambling. Okay, first up is Sip and Poolside. I got two of them. And this is one of the new scents for the new catalog, the spring and summer catalog. And it is Fresh Pear Sparkling Citrus and Tranquil Accord. Tranquil Accord, Tranquil Aquatic Accord. I don't even know. Tranquil Accord is all it says. I love this one. It reminds me of like literally sitting at a pool with a fruity drink or yeah, that's what it reminds me of. And it's so good. This one's really good. I love this one. So I got two of those. I got a Bamboo and Rainfall, also a new scent for the spring and summer catalog. And this is... Rainfall, Fresh Bamboo, and Melon Water. This smells very, like, soapy to me. It kind of smells like Irish Spring to me. But it's pretty, like, it's good. It's just more of, like, that clean scent. So if you're, if you're wanting your house to smell freshly cleaned, this is your scent. It definitely smells clean. Um, one of those... Then I got Summer Moonlight, which is not a new scent altogether. Like, it's not, like, new, new, but it's new to me. It was not in the catalog last year, so I did not, I don't think, I should double check. It's Strawberry, Sweet Pea, and Shimmering Sandalwood. <laughs> I lied. It was in the catalog last year. Um... It was in the catalog last year. My bad. I just never bought it, I guess. I don't know. I like this. I like this one a lot. I smell... Oh, my gosh. I really can't get these out. I smell the strawberries and the sweet pea the most. I don't really... I don't really know what sandalwood smells like, so... Strawberries and... Strawberries and, um sweet pea come through I really like sweet pea like sweet pea vanilla sweet pea and vanilla is a good one that I love um so yeah next is apricot vanilla and I got two of these this is one of my favorite scents it was in my club before the um before it came back in this catalog so it was in last year's catalog also it's heirloom peach apricot and vanilla ice cream I just warmed this this week in my classroom not in my classroom yes in my classroom I love this one love it love it love it I don't have any here, so I got two bars because it is a favorite of mine. So that's the first set of six. Next up, one I have never smelled before in my life. So we'll see what this smells like. It is sandalwood tangerine and where is it? Went too far. There it is. White cedar tangerine and sandalwood. I have no idea what this smells like. Hopefully I like it. It's definitely like a more masculine scent. It's not bad. I think I like sandalwood. Sandalwood is in Forever Flannel and that's like my favorite scent. Yeah, a little, little bit of the tangerine on the bottom. This is not bad. Um, I don't know what 
I didn't write any of these, but they're obviously all repurchases except for this one, I guess. Is there any other ones that I've not purchased before? I don't even know. Um, maybe the Summer Moonlight, but I do love that one. So that one would be a repurchase. This one is probably a three or four. I don't know. I have to melt it. I haven't warmed it, so I have no idea. Um, next up is Moon Orchid. This is a new release and it is Bright Bergamot, Night Blooming Jasmine, and Vanilla Orchid. This is definitely floral, um, but it's like a tolerable floral for me. So it is probably, I mean, I repurchased it because I do have a bar of this already and I have warmed it. Um, it's just, it's not like overpowering to me as a floral. So I do, I do like it. I don't need a ton of it. Um, but I just thought it would be a good one to have. Next is raspberry hibiscus tea. And this one is wild raspberry hibiscus petals and elderberry sugar. I don't really ever get like the tea scent on the tea scents. The ones that say that they have tea in them or tea scented or whatever. I definitely get the raspberry. Um, what else is in here? I lost it. I lost it. Now I can't find it. Um, hibiscus petals. Elderberry. I don't really know what elderberry smells like, but I do smell the raspberry. So um, next one I'm excited about. I got two of them. It is Summerberry Melon. And this was, I keep saying that this was not in the catalog last year and then it was and I feel silly. So um, let me double check. Yes, it was not in the catalog last year. It is cassava melon, strawberry, raspberry, and pineapple. I love melon scents. This is good. I think it's good. I haven't warmed it yet, did I? No, I don't think so but it smells good to me so i'm excited for that one next one is very vanilla this is a new scent new release for this year it is um creamy vanilla and tonka bean this one definitely leans more body care than like bakery even though it's in the bakery yeah this is like <sighs> This is like my body mist that I wear every day. The um, It reminds me of the Victoria's Secret Pink Warm and Cozy Body Spray. That's what I use all the time because I love vanilla scented things and I'm using that for like, I want to say my entire life. Um, at least in college and I'm 35 now, so 15 years. I've been using some, like the warm and cozy and it smells a lot like this to me. Yeah, <clears throat> smells just like that. Okay, I got two more, two more six packs and then I have one more thing. So next up is Starburst Sky. And this is, I do not think this was in the catalog. Was it? Hmm. No, it was not in the catalog last season. It, this is in body care this year too. So um, it's not like a new scent, but it is new to the catalog. So, or new to this catalog. It was not in last year's catalog, okay? Um, sweet apple, whipped vanilla, creamy coconut, and amber blossom. This, this one's good. I really, really, really like this one, so... Next is Berry Sweet, and this is a new scent this year, right? Yes, and it is Fresh Blueberries, Red Strawberries, and Sweet Candy Glaze. Yeah, it smells like, it, it smells like, what is it called? 
like a berry reduction. I don't know if that's a thing. I watch those baking channel shows and, or the Food Network shows, the baking ones, and I don't know if that's like a thing or not, but it smells like you took all those berries and you like are melting them down and like putting some sugar in them, like caramelizing them. I don't know if that's what a reduction is, but that's what that smells like to me. Um, it's definitely very good. It's very sweet. It's not my favorite berry scent that we have, but I do really like it. Next is Peace Lily Be With You. I did grab a bar of this in my last haul and then I ended up wanting to grab another one because it is a good um, floral scent for me. I do like this one. It is White Peace Lily, Green Apple, Watery Greens, and Vanilla. The aquatic kind of like, I guess, watery greens. I don't know what watery greens is, but um, that comes across to me in this. Yeah, it smells like a spa to me. I like the lily scent to it. It's not like that cucumbery scent though. Like when I think spa, sometimes I think that cucumbery, like the just breathe kind of scent. Um, that one is more... I don't know. Not as, I don't know. There's like not eucalyptus in it, you know? Although I love, love eucalyptus. Okay, next one is Lake My Day. And this is Lake Waves Crisp Bergamot and Fresh Oak Moss. This is definitely a more masculine scent, but I really, really like this one. Um, also, I love the color of this wax. It's like so bright. Yeah, this is definitely more masculine. It does remind me of the lake though. So that one's a good one. Next is Wild Cherry and Sakura. And this one is Wild Cherry, Sakura Blossoms, and Pink Jasmine. Trying to see because other people said that this smelled like throw up and I didn't get that so now I have to smell it again no I just get cherry I just get cherry <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about I just get cherry from this so um not my favorite in the world, but it is a it, it is a decent one. Um, like I said, florals are not always my favorite. Next is Pinkberry Sandalwood. I really like this one a lot. Um, I finished up... Did I finish the bar? I might have a couple cubes left of one of these upstairs. And I really liked it. Now I can't find it in my spreadsheet. Oh, there it is. Pinkberry, fresh cherry, tonka bean, and sandalwood. I must like sandalwood because I like all the ones that have sandalwood in them. These are like the things that like, I never knew I liked sandalwood until I realized that every scent that has sandalwood in it, I'm like, yeah, that one's pretty good. Yeah, I like this one a lot. That one's a good one definitely get that sandalwood in there so I must like sandalwood guys okay almost through this next one is a classic black raspberry vanilla uh we ran out of this I think so I think or we're close so we got some more it is dark berries and vanilla nice and simple everybody loves this one it's a good one Next one I'm so excited about, even though I just got a bar of this the other day, but I got two strawberry lemon cakes. This was not in the catalog last year. It has been around apparently. I just, it just wasn't in the catalog. I don't know. I don't know what kind of, like if it was in a collection prior to this, but this is fresh strawberries, lemon zest, and vanilla buttercream, and this is delicious so good oh my gosh so good I can't wait to warm this I don't know why I haven't yet um 
It is so good. I'm excited for this one. I'm so excited. I have a whole bar upstairs, but I got two more. Even though I haven't warmed it yet, it is so good on cold. So excited for that one. Next is Evening Sky. It doesn't want to focus. Come on. There we go. Okay. Evening Sky is... Soft bergamot, rich Madagascar, vanilla, and midnight lily. I must like lily too. I don't know. Yeah, I love this one. It it leans more masculine to me. Some people don't like this one, which surprises me. It leans more masculine to me. It's like it's like close to dashing. Like dashing is what it reminds me of, but it's a little bit less masculine a little more floral um next one is cake me to paradise whoa that did not want to focus and i really liked this one um i was at first a little disappointed in it because when i first smelled it i was expecting a cake scent and it is sweet cake orange juicy orange and island rum i was expecting like cake, but I got rum, which, yeah, the, it's very rum heavy. It's very like he, the orange in the rum pulls through more and the cake just gives it like that sweetness of tropical, like fruity drink kind of thing. Um, so it's, it's not just like orange juice and rum. It gives it more of that sweeter note to it but this on warm I loved it I was so surprised so I really really loved it so yeah that's a good one last one of the bars from these I do have a couple more but it's a collection so last one is sun castles and sun castles oh cake me to paradise and evening sky are new to the new um new scents they're completely new for the new catalog sun castles is also new for the new catalog and it is first let's get it to focus yikes why is it so bad at focusing today it is sunny coconut tropical pistachio and sweet almond i did not know this had pistachio pistachio in it i don't know if i like pistachio scented things but i like this so i guess the coconut comes through most to me. This reminds me of suntan lotion, but like also a fruity drink on the side. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Definitely feels beachy though. Um, and all that. Okay. Those are all the bars that I got that are regular bars. Now I also got the Mother's Day bar collection. So it comes in a box like this. Just smell them and see if I want to give them to my mom or if she will even like them. And if I can open it without ripping the box, that'd be cool. Thanks. Oh, this is open. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's cute. Super cute on the inside. So you like open the little flap and there's like the little bars, but I guess it slides out or something. Guess you don't open it that way. You open it on the side. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I guess we open it on the side and I need to make sure I put them back in in the same, same lineup here or they're gonna be all mismatched on the inside. The packaging is beautiful on these. So you can get the pack, the set for $17. You get the whole, the whole thing. And, okay, got them out. The first one is called Courage, and it is Bold Raspberry and Red Mango Leap into Pink Amber. Never smelled these before. Yeah, you definitely get the raspberry. My mom likes raspberry and mango, so she might like this. It's pretty good. 
Next is Kindness, which is a dewy greens, uplift, enduring notes of magnolia and white musk. My mom does not usually like musky scents, so I have to smell it and see. This might be too powdery for her. I don't know. She'll have to smell them and decide. <sighs> I hate when I can't get the bars out. Okay. I don't know. The bottom is not as, as powdery. It was the top that's powdery. She might like that one, actually. So, And the last one is Strength, and it is Nectarine Sweetens Fresh Pineapple with a Gentle Touch of Sunkissed Lemon. This I know she'll like. She really likes pineapple scents. Yeah, she'll like this. Nectarine is what I got first off from the the top there, but definitely pineapple on the bottom. I don't really smell lemon. I don't know, maybe that'll come out more when it's warmed, but she will really like that one for sure. I think she'll like all three of them actually. So maybe I will give it to her. Um, but that is the Mother's Day collection. Along with the Mother's Day collection is, these are available April 1st too, I should say. Um, Along with this collection, there is also a warmer. It is the Butterflies in Bloom warmer, I believe. Butter, sorry, Butterfly Blooms warmer. I'll put it right here. Um, and then there's a couple of other things. There's a soak with one of these scents. Um, there's like a duck scentsy buddy and a scent circle, a flower. And then there's a couple of sets as well that you can get that are a warmer and one of the bar one of these bars. But you can also get the bundle of these bars for $17. So um and then the warmer that I put up is $35. And that is all I have for this haul. I know it was a longer haul, but I did get a lot of bars this time. So um yeah. Let me know if you are planning on picking up the Mother's Day bars um, this year. And yeah, I don't have anything else for you. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of the things. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.